Okay, <clears throat> this is very awkward for me because um, I really hate the sound of my own voice. And there was another person I'd probably like to punch my own self in the throat. But that's beside the point. A friend of mine said I should, like, think about giving, like, little helpful hints and tricks for Photoshop and other things. So I thought, why not? Help someone, uh, help someone else out and learn something myself. So for the most part, I'm going to be giving out uh, little quick tips for Photoshop and Maya 3D animation. It may be some rigging, but pretty much just Maya and Photoshop tricks. <clears throat> so with that said, let's get started with the first quick tip for Photoshop. This quick tip, the transform tool. If you go to edit and free transform, you'll see the um I don't know this is in the draw area, but if you get the hotkeys right there. <clears throat> I know it's pretty self I know this might not be uh new to a lot of people. You pull the edges, blah, you do that, you do this, blah blah blah. Hotkeys. <clears throat> you hold shift, you get the Stretch it <clears> on <throat> whatever corner you do. That's normal stuff. But for a lot of people, they don't know that um, the Alt or Option key and Control also have their own functions. So if I hold Control, I get this white dot thingy, and when I pull on this edge, it actually just pulls the forms that side of the cube or box whatever you want to call it. This is actually a great way for um, perspective in Photoshop. Blah, 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 blah. Also, Alt or Option, I guess, don't have a Mac. Well, if you pull it, you actually, um, hey, let's move this. If you pull it, <clears throat> it actually stretches from the center point on. Unlike, sorry, unlike shift, which just stretches it from whatever side you pull on. All actually stretches the entire piece or the entire selection exactly from the middle point. So, hope you like. Uh, thanks for watching.